We are approximately two weeks from the release of official 1.8.5. It's a big update. It's going to be our launch, and we got things to do. First off, I want to say that I want to make New Frontier Craft my job, if possible. If New Frontier Craft has the potential, I want to make some profit off it. I want to be able to work on it instead of have a job over the summer. That said, I need some things accomplished to tell me that New Frontier Craft has potential over the summer. So then it's not like I'm working on something as if it's going to be my future job and it just totally duds. So I've decided five or six things that if we meet that requirement, that means I'm going to keep working on it as if it's going to become my future job, like I am right now. If one of these five things are not met, then I'm just going to continue New Frontier Craft as a hobby. And when I say that, that means my work on New Frontier Craft could go to like 10% lower of what it is now to zero. If these are not met by the end of summer, don't expect me to continue New Frontier Craft. It's a big bad mod, although I love the game. It takes up a lot of time, and it's just, it's going to become unnecessary very quickly as I continue through college. So here are the five requirements to meet by the end of summer. First requirement is for this channel to hit 500 subscribers. I'm predicting that if New Frontier Craft has potential, we're probably going to be going over 500 subscribers by the end of this year, or this year, this summer. Because I'm, I'm going to be pushing this out there. I'm going to be trying to get a lot of people to play, and hopefully the game is going to be pretty good by the time we're finished. So, if it has potential, I feel like we're going to be hitting more than 500 subscribers by the end of summer. If not, then I believe 500 subscribers will be obvious. We're only going to be at like 200 by the end of summer. So, that's one thing. The other thing that could happen is if on our main server, we get over a thousand players. That means a lot of people have played New Frontier Craft, and that means New Frontier Craft probably has some potential. The third option is if, instead of a thousand people on our main server, like a whole bunch of other servers, like, I would say five, five other main servers for New Frontier Craft open up, and a lot of people play those. Or... Not a lot of people, but like a consistent amount of people play them. Then that shows that people are like New Frontier Craft, and they they have to be public servers. I'm not going to just let private servers count in for that. It'll be like public servers where multiple people will be playing them. I'll count that as a requirement accomplished. Now these first couple of requirements are what the ideal is. And the ideal is that the community starts to grow. And when the community grows, I can make profit off that because I can release updates on YouTube and I can throw ads into the updates, and that's how I'll make my profit. Then I don't have to charge you guys for anything. But if there's a strong demand for New Frontier Craft, but since it might end up being kind of niche, um, instead of continuing through the size of the community, I can continue through something like patronage. That's the fourth option. And by that point... Um, I would have to set another requirement at the end of summer, judging by how big the community is. Um, so that means there could still... Uh, if there's not enough people who are really demanding for it, then that's still going to be a dud. But if there's like a community of like 200 people and we didn't hit 500, but that 200 people really, really want New Frontier Craft, well, I'll be like, alright, I'll set up a patronage. And uh, that'll definitely be able to allow me to keep working on this a lot. And then option five, and don't rely on this one, is let's say something else happens that shows New Frontier Craft totally has potential. I just need to keep working on it a little bit longer. Don't rely on this option. It would have to be something that I totally did not consider suddenly popped up and I was like, all right, I think we should continue this. But really don't rely on that. Like if by the end of summer it's a small community still and maybe something happened but not too special, I'm still probably going to drop New Frontier Craft. Now this said, I'm not afraid of getting money involved in New Frontier Craft now. I've been hesitant for quite a while. Some people are like, well, if you get money involved, people are just going to be there for the money, not the game. But, I mean, that's if you think that people are just going to be there for the lust of money. Or myself. Just because I just want money. But that's not the case. I'm sort of a minimalist. As long as I have what I need... I don't care about more money. 
And at the same time, I, I want to use money for what it's meant for, value. And I really value a couple of things that need to happen in New Frontier Craft. And that's why um, I've got a budget of like $500 I could still throw at New Frontier Craft safely. I've already used like $300. Not to mention that I've put in an estimated, like, over a thousand two hundred hours on developing this game. Um, so I'm, I'm getting a little desperate to have New Frontier Crab benefit me back somehow after all of that time and throwing that much money at it so far. Although that's not a lot of money, that's a lot of time. But, just to show you guys that... I really care about how money affects New Frontier Craft 2 because, I mean, I think it's necessary if New Frontier Craft is going to get bigger to figure out how I should integrate money into New Frontier Craft. I want to pay you guys back first. So what do I mean by that? Um, I need you guys to test. I mean, you've already been testing on the server a little bit, but this next test is single player. and. This test could take up to seven or eight hours, depending on how hard New Frontier Craft de decides to be on you. So that's a long time, and I don't know how many people would be willing to do that for free. I mean, I'm sure there's some people, but because it's just for free, they'll kind of be off and on on it. And I want to incentivize this. So, for $20, and if you go over seven hours, I'll play you $25 through something like PayPal. Um, Here's what you need to do. First, you generate a world, show me the seed through like F3, um, and then record a playthrough from nothing to finding a tier 5 metal, so either diamond or osmium. Don't have any cheats, except I I'll allow F3 if you use F3 in the game to find caves because of mobs. I do that myself. Um, at one point I'll probably be removing that and adding in something different that We'll kind of counteract that because not being able to see caves is quite a disadvantage in New Frontier Craft since New Frontier Craft is heavy on caves, but I think seeing mobs is kind of cheap. But for now, you're allowed to use F3. Um, but if you're using some other weird thing to try to get it done quicker, I mean, you're going to give me an inaccurate result. I'm going to see that because you recorded it, and I'm not going to pay you. And a while you're doing this... Uh, Build a decent house, you know, don't don't just go into a cave and build a little shack into the wall where you just store all your stuff and burn all the stuff. Build a decent house. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant, but just to, con just to factor in some building. Now, if you test and you're like, I don't want your money, Zoutra, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to forcefully pay you money, but if you want money, I will gladly pay you, you know, 20 or $25, depending on how long it took, because... Thank you for helping develop New Frontier. Also, if you end up sitting around a lot, I will be subtracting that from your time. So let's say you hit eight hours, but you ended up sitting around for like half an hour. Well, you're going to get the 20 bucks instead of 25. Another big decision that I've made recently on New Frontier Craft is after we've gained a certain speed of the community growth, and it's starting to show that maybe there's some coders in the community, I will make New Frontier Craft open source. Currently it's closed source and it's going to stay closed source because one hacker can do way too much damage still. Um, it's hard to decompile right now, but if I had it open source and it's not going to be hard to decompile anymore, someone could just ruin the game for everyone. So once we have a couple of, a lot more people in the community and a couple of them no security, which I don't yet, eventually I will because I'm in college for computer science and maybe I'll be that person to really buff up the security on New Frontier Craft, uh, it's going to be closed source until then. And I don't have any exact thing for when I'll make it open source, but I think it'll be kind of common when everyone's like, all right, I think we're ready for open source. Again, this is a lot to throw at you, and I am seriously diving into New Frontier Craft as if it will be something I'll be working on for a little while, for a little while of my life, um, or at least in my young adult period of my life. If it does bust by the end of summer, and it shows that it's not growing very well, um, I mean, it still could be my hobby, but again, don't don't expect that. I, I really think I'm going to move on. I've got a lot of ideas for another game that I'm coming up with, but if New Frontier Craft proves it has potential, I'm sticking with New Frontier Craft. But if it does bust, it's a good time with y'all, 
and I learned a lot with New Frontier Craft. I'm happy to have met a lot of you guys. I mean, it's been an adventure. But until then, let's get to business.